Hi, I'm Ellen Utter with MSCR Fitness, and today we're going to do classical Pilates map. So let's get started. All you need is a map, have some water if you want to take a drink at any time, and make sure that you modify. If you need to modify or bend your knees, don't do as many repetitions. So know your own body. So let's get started with a warm up. We're going to get into what's called constructive rest first. So you're lying on your back, your knees are bent, knees are hip width apart, your feet are parallel. And let's open up our shoulders and bring the shoulders down and back. Let's firm our belly in. Let's bring our nose in toward our chest. So we could have an orange between the chin and the chest. So you're not really scrunching it in, but you've got a nice long neck, you've got a nice long spine. Think about dropping your tail. And let's start breathing. Pilates breathing is inhaling through the nose and exhaling through the mouth. But the important thing, if you would get confused with breathing, is just plain breathe. Breathe through every exercise. I don't care if you do in through your nose and out through your nose, but try to do in through your nose and breathe out through your mouth. Exhale. So let's bring the hands to the chest. Let's think about inhaling. Our elbows are wide. We're inhaling, expanding wide to the ribs. Exhale. Draw your belly in and back and up. So let's do that again. Let's inhale, expand and get wide in the ribs, the front and the back ribs. And then exhale. Try to bring everything in together, almost like a little funnel, almost like making a little box. Really breathing in, avoid tucking. Inhale again, expand wide. And then exhale. One more time. Big inhale, widen the ribs. Inhale, keep the breath going up. And then exhale, bring the belly in and up. And think about lifting your pelvic floor up through your diaphragm. Okay, let's take our hands now and stack them behind the head. We're doing some warm up exercises. So, elbows are pointing toward the ceiling. Inhale. Expand and exhale. Draw your belly in nice and deep. Let the head, neck, and shoulders come up and look at your belly. Inhale here and exhale. Lengthen your spine down. Try to find length from the crown of the head to your tail. Again, let's warm up. Inhale, get wide. Breath. Exhale, draw the belly in. Let the head and shoulders be lifted. You're using your belly to lift the head and shoulders looking at the belly, finding length in your spine and lengthen all the way down. And again, inhale, get wide. Exhale, draw the belly in. Really make that belly nice and contracted. And then lower. So I'm having you stack your hands behind your head rather than lacing them and doing any kind of yanking on your neck. So let's do one more, and then we're going to add a twist, a rotation. Inhale, get wide. Exhale, draw your belly in. Let the head, neck, and shoulders come up. Let's rotate over to your right. Come back to center. Make sure the tail is dropped. You're lifting, and then rotate to your left. Come back to center, and lower down. We'll do that two more times. Inhale, get wide in the ribs. Exhale, draw the belly in. Let the head and shoulders come up. Rotate to the right, back to center. Rotate to the left, and back to center. Lift up another spine bone and lengthen yourself down. One more time. Inhale, get wide in the ribs. Start with the breath. Exhale, belly in. Let the head and shoulders come up. Rotate to the right, back to center. And rotate to the left, back to center and down. Now bring the arms down by the sides, palms down. We're going to do some hip raises to still warm up. Inhale and exhale. It is a shoulder bridge, but we're just doing a nice simple 
hip lift, draw your belly in. It's great for your low back. And then let's lower it down. Keep your belly firm. One vertebra at a time. Breathe. Let's do that again. Let's lift up. Push your feet into the floor, into the mat. Inhale and exhale. Lift the shoulders up. Nice and easy. And then lower down. Okay, let's bring your legs into a tabletop position. One leg, then the other. So the shins are parallel to the floor. Resting on the sits bones of the sacrum. We're going to start with 100 prep. So arms are down by the, on the floor. Inhale and exhale. Let's just push the arms and lift the head, neck, and shoulders up. And then lower back down. And one more time like that. Inhale, exhale, draw your belly in. It's a good way to warm up yet. And then get the feeling of pushing the arms forward, lifting your head, neck, and shoulders up. And then let's begin. Just lift the arms up and begin to pump the arms. Now, you can um, modify by putting a head behind, hand behind the head. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Or you can lay your head down. Look at your belly and just make sure you're pumping the arms. Bring the fingers together and bring the thumbs apart. That'll give you more power. Keep the shoulders back. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, and five. If you wish, you can lift your feet. The feet are in turnout. Or you can keep your knees bent. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Inhale and exhale. Don't let your, if your neck is weak, lay it down. Put your hand back here. Let's do two more sets. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Inhale, exhale. And get the tension out of your neck, bring it down to the floor, shake it out. Roll ups. We're gonna start with the half roll down. So you're sitting up, knees are bent. Hands are behind your knees. And you can do this one rather than a full roll up. This is your modification. So inhale. Let's just go back. So we're balancing behind our sits bones. Our hands are behind our knees. Belly firmed in. Exhale, roll yourself up. And then inhale back. And exhale up. And inhale, let's roll it back. And exhale. Really work that belly. You're forming a C curve as you're coming up. You're keeping your shoulders back. You're finding that balance. Exhale, come up. And let's go back one more time in this half roll down. And exhale. So you can continue to do this, or you can come down to the floor. Your legs can be straight, your knees can be bent. So I'm gonna do eight roll-ups. I'm gonna bring my arms up overhead. Inhale and exhale, draw your belly in. Let the head and shoulders come up and roll yourself up. I'm keeping my belly back, I'm keeping my shoulders back. And I'm coming forward. Inhale here and exhale. I'm going to come all the way back. I'll show the modification with the knees. So you just bend the knees and do the same thing. Inhale, prepare. And exhale, start to roll up one vertebra at a time, nodding the nose. Straighten your legs and continue to roll it up. Keep your belly in. Keep the shoulders back. Inhale, nice and tall. And exhale. So you can continue on with the knees. You can continue on with the half roll down, or you can do the regular roll up. I'm keeping my legs heavy, starting, nodding my nose, and then inhale, rolling myself up. So really any level can do 
some kind of a roll up, whether it be half roll down, bent knees, or straight. And let's come all the way down. Keep that belly firm in. I'm going to do seven more like this. Inhale, prepare, and exhale. You don't have to do all seven if you feel you don't need to. Then you just need to stretch in between. Inhale, tall, and exhale. Belly in. Inhale, prepare. Exhale, draw the belly in. And just peel the spine off the floor. Keep the shoulders back. Lengthen with the crown of the head. And then let's come back. Exhale all the way down. Again, inhale, prepare. Exhale, draw that belly in. Reach up, reach over, shoulders back. Feel a good stretch. Feel like the belly's going back. Getting a good stretch in the low back, mid back. Inhale, tall. Exhale all the way down. All oh, five more. Inhale, prepare. Exhale. The more you do this, the better you get at it. You can practice with your feet under the couch, too. The main thing here is just not to use momentum. Inhale, prepare, and exhale. So that means if you're bending the knees, it's probably what you need to do until you're stronger. Reach it forward, inhale tall, exhale all the way back. A couple more. Inhale, prepare. Exhale, belly in. And reach it forward. And come up and all the way back. Sometimes people bring their arms all the way up. So you can do that too. I'll show you. I'll demonstrate. Inhale, prepare. And exhale. They come up, bring their arms up, and bring their arms back. Let's do one more. Inhale, prepare. And exhale, all the way up. Really keep the belly firm in. And stretch it forward. Let's do a little stretch. Just soften the knees and bring your hands to the balls of the feet. And stretch forward. Feeling that in the back of your hamstrings. It's always important when you're doing a forward fold to keep your knees soft. So the stretch is not in the low back, it is actually in the legs. Okay, next. We're going to cross one ankle over the other. The knees are going to be directly over the hips. We're going to do a little high hip up exercise. So arms on the floor, shoulders down. So I've got my left ankle crossed over my right. We're going to inhale and exhale, draw your belly in, and just lift the hips up off the floor and lower them down. Again, inhale, prepare, exhale, belly in. Well, I'm pushing down on the back of my arms and my wrists. Inhale, prepare, exhale, draw the belly in. Even if you just have the intention of lifting your hips off the floor, you can still feel the work in your belly. Okay, next will be leg circle. So bring your left leg down to modify you bend the knee. So we're going to stretch this right leg, point flex circle. We spin the hip forward so that you're resting on the sits bones or the sacrum, not the low back. Turn the right leg out of the hip. Arms are down by your side. Stabilize the hips. Lead with the heel. Inhale, cross the midline of the body. Exhale, down or on up. Two. Breathe. Inhale as you start. Exhale as you finish. Sink that belly in nice and deep. Three. Four. Inhale as you start. Exhale as you finish your circle. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Now, reverse your direction. Go to the outside. Inhale. Exhale. Down around and up. Feeling that right in that inner thigh. Leg is turned out. 
Inhale, crawl. Inhale, outside, exhale around. Inhale, exhale around and up. Five. And six. Feel, try to feel length in that standing leg. Seven. And eight. Nice stretch. Good work. Stretch that leg. Bring it out to the side. Soften the knee. So you can always stop this recording and take a stretch for as long as you want and then play it back, continue on. Shake it out. Let's draw your left knee in and stretch that left leg. Point and flex. I'm always making sure I position my weight points. My weight points are my sits bones, my shoulders, my bottom ribs, so I'm not on my low back. Okay, let's begin. Stabilized body, lead with the left heel. Inhale, cross, exhale, round and up. Or you're modifying by bending the other knee. You're making a smaller circle if you need to. Inhale, cross, exhale, round and up. Inhale. Inhale, cross, exhale, down, round and up. Four more. Use your breath. Inhale as you start. Exhale as you finish. Inhale, exhale around. Inhale, cross the midline, exhale around. Reverse direction. Inhale, exhale around and up. Inhale, firm the belly. Inhale, exhale around and up. Four more. Inhale, exhale around and up. Three, two, Last one, find length in those legs, stretch. So we're always trying to strive for length in our legs, firmness in our core, keeping our back safe by keeping the core engaged. Okay, shake it out and come up for rolling like a ball. So here we're gonna start just finding the balance before we even begin here. Heels are together, shoulders are down. And let's just kind of rock back and forth a little bit. Hold your belly in. We're not going anywhere yet, but we're finding that balance point. That's where the work is. Keep your arms down, keep your heels together. Make a ball within a ball. Pretend like your body is a little ball, and then you've got a ball that's just encapsulating yourself within it. Okay, now we're going to start to move. But first, let me show you a modification if you have any lower back issues. You don't want to roll then. Then you want to do a half roll down. So hands come behind the knees. Inhale, just come back until the arms straighten and exhale. So that'll be your exercise if you need to modify. The rest of us, Heels together, hands in front of the ankles, feet are flexed. Inhale back to the tip of the shoulder blades. And exhale up. Keep that balance. Inhale back. And exhale up. Inhale back. And up. Keep this tight little ball. Keep that belly in. Inhale back. So we just want to stay off of our neck. Inhale back. A couple more. And last one. And from here, we'll go into a single leg stretch. So extend your left leg. I'm going to bring my left hand on the inside of my right knee and my right hand on the outside of my ankle. And I'm going to come down, lifting my head and shoulders. And I'm going to switch with the breath. Inhale the right leg, elbows are wide. Exhale the left. If you need to lay the head down, do that. Do the same thing. Make a smaller lever. So you can just kick higher toward the ceiling. 
with your head down, make sure that you're on your sits bones. So that's another way to modify. Otherwise, we're up here, looking at the belly. Inhale, one leg, exhale the other. Inhale, exhale, and inhale, and exhale. What I'm gonna do it with my head on the floor and arms down. Still can feel the flattening of the belly. I'm gonna add some arms. Inhale down, extend the right leg, exhale, and inhale. So you can do either one of these methods. You can keep your head on the floor the whole time. You can lift your head and shoulders and stretch and stretch. The idea here is to strengthen the low belly. Knees in. Rock side to side. Take a nice deep breath in. Nice deep breath out. Okay, next is double leg stretch. We're going to start at tabletop. Knees over hips, hands behind knees. Inhale and exhale. Let the head and shoulders come up. Okay, inhale. So I'm flexing my feet. I'm going to bring my feet out and my arms out like 45 degrees. Exhale. Bring the knees back in. Inhale out. Swim around. Exhale. Bring it in. Inhale out. Exhale in. You can have a smaller range of motion. Go straight up here and bring it in to modify. Inhale and exhale. Otherwise, we're up here. Inhale, exhale, and inhale, and exhale. Four more. Inhale, exhale as you bring everything into center. Three and four. And get the tension out of the neck. Remember what I said about your neck. Lay your head down if you need to. Hold on to the back of your head if you need to. Single straight leg stretch or scissors. Legs are straight up. And I'm going to put my hands behind my right thigh. I'm going to push my left foot back about 12 inches. Inhale and exhale. Let the head and shoulders come up. Scissor the legs. So we're lengthening them. We're not yanking on them. You can bend your knees. Make little scissors, make bigger scissors. Looking down at your belly. Try to feel like you're dropping your tailbone. You're long and stretch and stretch and stretch. Couple more. Two, one. This can also be done with your head on the floor. Breathing, pulling that belly in, knees into your chest. Let's do a couple leg drops. I know you're working really hard. Bring your knees over to your right. And just let them drop. Breathe. Good work. This is good work. It's good hard work. It's good for your core and your back. That's why you're here. Okay, back to center. Knees in. We're going to do a double leg lower lift, but we're going to start in tabletop. Spin the hips forward so you're resting on the sits bone, belly in, arms down. We're going to drop the right toe on an inhale. Exhale, use your low belly to lift the leg. Inhale, drop the left toe. And exhale up. And inhale and exhale. So you can feel what your belly's doing. You can put your hand on your little belly here. Inhale, lower. Exhale, up. Use your belly, not the hip flexors. So we stay out of them. Inhale, lower. Exhale, up. Anybody can do this one. Inhale, lower. Exhale, up. Inhale, lower. Try to fight arching in the back. Inhale, lower. Exhale up. Bring your knees in. Rock side to side. 
Okay, now I'm going to have you stack your hands behind your head, pushing the head and the hands, keeping the elbows and arms on the floor. And I'm going to have you in a tabletop. We're just going to lower an inch on an inhale. And exhale, use your belly to lift the legs. Inhale, lower. So you should be able to feel that in the belly. Inhale, lower. Just a few inches and exhale, come back up to tabletop. Inhale, lower. Exhale, up. Inhale, lower. Exhale, up. Rest a moment. For those that want more challenge, straighten the legs. Lift the head and shoulders up. Inhale, lower a few inches and exhale, use your belly to lift up. Inhale, lower. Exhale, up. Inhale, lower. Exhale, up. We'll do two more. Inhale, lower. Exhale, up. And inhale, lower. Exhale, up. Good work. It's a hard exercise. No doubt about it. And finally, we're, you've done abdominal series exercises, the single leg stretch, the double leg stretch, the single straight leg stretch, and the double leg lower and lift. Now for crisscross. Legs are in tabletop. Stack the hands behind the head. Inhale and exhale, let the head and shoulders come up. Extend the left leg out, rotate toward the right knee. Back to center, twist, and twist. So as you're working from under your armpit, rotating, and rotating, and rotating, and breathing, breathe, breathe. Exhale, exhale as you go out, inhale, center, exhale, 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 rest. Good work. Breathe in. Breathe out. And let's come to a seated position for spine stretch forward. Well, everybody's been working really, really hard. So this will feel good. So you want your feet out within the mat. Flex them, heels down, soft knees. Arms out. So feel like you've got an imaginary wall behind you. You want to feel like you're going to be lifting up out of your hips. And then you're going to exhale, not the nose. Feel like you're doming the top of the spine or the, the back muscles are lifting up. And you're reaching forward. Pull your belly back in. Inhale here, exhale, stack your vertebra up one at a time. Inhale, get nice and tall, and exhale, draw the belly in and leave with the crown of the head. Lift the back up. Reach forward, push the belly back. Inhale here, exhale, stack it nice and tall. Drop your shoulders, inhale, get tall. Exhale, belly in, reach it forward. Back and up. So lifting and doming the top of your back, leading with the crown of the head, pushing your belly in. Inhale here, exhale, nice and tall. Two more, inhale, get tall. Exhale, draw the belly in. Dome the top, reach forward. Inhale, exhale, stack it up. One last one. Really feel like you're lifting up out of your hips. Notice my knees are soft. Inhale, tall, and exhale, belly in. Dome in the top of the spine, rounding it forward, leading with the crown of the head. And lift it up. And just kind of shake it out a little bit. Okay, next will be some rotations. Saw, spine twist, and then we're gonna make it onto our bellies. And then, time allowing, we'll do some side kicks. So bring your arms out and drop your shoulders. Inhale, feel like you're getting tall. And this will be four, four part twist. So 
One is twist to the left. Two is reach beyond the baby toe. Three is come up in a twisted position. And four, back to center. Twist, reach, come up, and untwist. One and two, three and four. Exhale as you twist. Legs don't move. Twist, up, and untwist. And twist, and reach, and up, and untwist. Exhale, up, and untwist. Twist. Reach those hands far away from each other. Come up and untwist. Twist and reach. Up and untwist and twist. Reach up. Come up and untwist. Again, twist and reach and up and untwist and twist. Exhale and up. And on twist and again. Twist and reach and up. Let's do one more set. One and two. Three and four. And last one. Reach up and on twist. Let's take a little stretch. We have to have our feet right next to each other flexed for slime twist, which is coming up. So let's do a little back stretch. I like this one. You just bend the knees and bring the big toe mounts together. And then hands go either behind the ball of your feet or your arch. And then just let your head drop. And push your feet, pull your feet into your belly. And feel a nice stretch in your back. Just a feel good back stretch. Breathe. Okay, next, spine twist. So feel like you're nice and tall. The crown of your head is going all the way up to the sky. You're going to drop your arms, palms are up. You're going to inhale and exhale. You're going to twist to the right once, twice, and back to center. Drop your shoulders. Twist once, twice, back to center. And twist, and twist. Back to center, sitting tall on your sits bones. Twist, twist, back to center, and twist, and twist, back to center. Twist, twist, make sure we're breathing. Exhale, it's like you're wringing out a wet towel. Come back to center, and again. Back to center, let's do one more step. Twist, and twist. Back to center, and twist. Twist, and back to center. Good work. Okay, on your bellies. Make a pillow out of your arms. So stack one hand on top of the other. Head on the hands. Okay, bring your heels together. Feet are going to be in turnout, so you can activate the back of your legs as well. Hold your belly in. Feel like the shoulder blades are going back down toward the hip pockets. Okay, here's the work. We're going to inhale, get wide, and exhale. Just do a couple breaths first. And as you exhale, you draw your belly butt up off the mat. Inhale, get wide again. And exhale. Okay, hold that belly in there. And don't let the belly pop. Just keep it engaged the whole time. Okay, we're going to inhale. We're going to hover the head off the hands. And then exhale, draw the belly in deeper. Bring the hands to meet the head and feel the work, the contraction in your low back. And then bring both the head and the hands down. It should feel okay though. You're just going to feel like a little tension back there. Inhale, let's lift the head, hover it, and then exhale, draw the belly in really tight and deep. Hands meet the head, exhale, lengthen the whole torso down. Keep the belly in. One more, inhale, hover the head. Exhale, bring the hands to meet the head, 
and then lower down. Okay, now we're going to add a little side to side, a little rotation. So inhale, I'm going to lift the head, hover it. Remember the nose is toward the mat. You're looking down at the mat. Exhale, draw the belly in. And we're going to rotate side bend to the right, back to center. Hold the belly in nice and deep. Okay, side left, center, come down and up. And side bend to the right, pull the belly in, back to center, keep the lift. Side bend to the left, back to center, down and up, belly in, and rotate the side bend, not rotate. Side bend to the right, center, and side bend to the left, center, and come down. And bring your hands to your sides, nose to the mat. Okay. Squeeze the heels together. Inhale, you're going to push the hands down. Lengthen up. Push the elbows down. And then exhale, push the heels of the hands back toward the feet. So you can feel the back of your arms working as you lengthen your torso down. Couple more. Inhale. Push down on the arms, down on the elbows. Lengthen through your torso, through the front of your head. Pull the belly in. And then lengthen. Push the heels of the hands back toward the heels of your feet. We'll do one more. Inhale. Push down the hands and elbows. Lengthen through the crown of the head. And then exhale. Heels down toward the back of the feet. Let's come up into a child's pose. Come to your hands and knees. Bring your toes together, knees out, and sit back on your heels and just stretch the little back. Because now we're into extensions. We were doing flexions. We did warm-ups, we did some basic flexions, rotations. Good work, it's all good work. Okay, back to a single leg kick. So, you can make fists, or you can lace your hands together. Or you can have your hands flat on the floor so they're shoulder width apart, palms are down, elbows are down, elbows are right directly under the shoulders, you're going to look forward, legs and feet are right together, pull the belly in, let's hover the right leg, so float it off the floor, bend the knee and kick two, and release. So here in the work, the focus is the back of the hamstrings and the butt. Flex, float your left leg, bend the knee and kick two, and release. Float the right, bend the knee and kick two. Now your knee is just coming slightly off the floor. We're going to float our left leg, bend the knee and kick two, and release. Let's do two more each side. Float the right, bend the knee, kick two, and lengthen. Float the left, bend the knee, hold the belly in, kick two, picking the heel toward the butt. Again, float the right, bend the knee, kick two, feel it in your hamstring. And finally, float the left, bend the knee, kick two, and release. Now, four of these, we're going to lay on our mat, one cheek or the other. Take your hands and lace them on your back so the arms are dropping over. Okay, the heels are together. You're gonna lift the legs, bend the knees and kick three times toward your butt. One, two, three. Feet down and then make a fist, lengthen through the crown of your head and come down to the other side. So, bend the knees, float the legs, bend the knees and kick, two, three, feet down, make a fist and lengthen through your torso and the crown of your head. Other side, bend, kick, two, three, reach, and come down, and again. Float, bend, and kick. Two, three, reach, 
Reach the hands out to the side. Reach the hands forward. And sit back on your heels. Nice work. Nice extension work. So sit back on those heels again. And release that low back. Lay the head down on the mat. And feel a nice, deserved stretch. Breathe. Okay, side kicks. So let's, I'm going to start on my left side. I'm going to stack myself, stack my hips. I'm on the back edge of my mat. And I am going to lay on my arm. So you're welcome to come up here where your shoulder is right over your wrist. Your shoulder is right over your elbow. Hands are down. Or you're laying on the arm. Let's bring the feet up at an angle. Let's flip the right foot, flex the foot, and go forward two with a flex. And then exhale, push back with the ball of the foot. So the only thing moving is the working leg. Your body is still. Your right hand is down on the floor for support. You're lifting your lower left waistline. Inhale forward, forward, and exhale back. And inhale forward, and exhale back. And inhale forward with a flex. And exhale, push with the ball of the foot, feeling it in the back. Inhale forward, exhale back. And inhale forward with a flex. Exhale back, and then move forward, and exhale back. Now let's bring the heels together so your feet are in turn up, as are your hips. Point it up, flex and lengthen it down. Point it up, and flex, and point, and flex, and point, and flex. Point it up, and flex. Now flex it up, point it down four times. Flex it up, point it down. Lengthen that working leg. Flex it up, point it down, and flex it up, point it down. Now bring the top leg so it's hip level and turned out. And we're going to circle forward, leading with the heel eight times. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. Reverse it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Okay, now we're going to bend the knees and we're going to do a bicycle. So your shins are parallel with the edge of the mat. So you're going to straighten your right leg, go straight back, and bend the knee in. Straight back, really working the hips. Go straight forward, straight back, bring it in. Straight forward, straight back, and bring it in. A couple more. Keep the lower waistline lifted. Three, and two, and one. Now let's reverse this process. Kick it straight back, kick it straight forward. Bend the knee in, kick it straight back. Forward, bend the knee, kick it straight back. If that gets confusing, just continue to do it the front way. Two more. Last one. Okay, then we are going to bring the legs back so you still have them stacked on top of each other. We're going to lift both legs and lower them. Lift both legs and lower them. Lift. Even if it's a tiny lift, you can also just lift the top leg up and down. Or you can lift the top leg up so it's hip lift, hip level, and touch the bottom leg to the top leg. The feet stay neutral. The feet aren't leading it. You're leading it with the inner thigh. So we're lifting both legs. Lift, 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 five, six, seven, 
eight. Now take the top leg, the right leg, and you're going to be lifting and lowering the left leg on the bottom. So it's an inner thigh lift. Lift, lift, lift. Try to get it up as high as you can. Lift. Feeling that work and that lengthening in the lower thigh. Lift, lift. Let's do 10 more. Nine, eight, seven. Try to get and find length in that working leg. Five, four, three, two, one. Keep it up there and circle it as you had it lifted. I'm circling forward. Five, four, three, two, one. Reverse the circle. The bottom leg is circling, working that inner thigh. Five, four, three, two, one. Switch sides. Doing great. Working hard, I hope. I can't see you from where I am, but I'm hoping that that's what you're doing. Okay. Stack the legs. Right leg on the bottom. Bring the legs up at a diagonal. Left leg is up. Flex the foot. Go forward, forward, and push back with the flex. Forward with a flex. Pardon me. Push back at the ball of the foot. It's okay if you flex it. Flex forward, ball of the foot back. Flex forward with two, and back two. Flex forward, forward, point back. The only thing moving is the working leg. Forward, forward, and back. And forward, and back. Forward with a flex. And push it back. One more like that. Push it back. Heels together. Up, down. Point it up. Flex and lower down. Point it up. Flex. Lengthen that left leg. Point. Flex. Point. And flex. And flex. Point and lengthen. Flex. Point and lengthen. And flex. Point. Flex. And point. Then we're going to bend the knees and do bicycle on this side. So left leg goes straight forward, straight back and around. Straight forward and back and around. Really working at hip flexor. Three and two and one. Then reverse it. One, two, three. We're striving for eight repetitions. If eight are too many, do five. Five are too many, do three. Four, three, two, and one. Okay, bring the legs straight back. And we're gonna put them up and down. Lift. That really works the waistline, lengthening the legs. Keeping them glued together. If you need to modify, you can always do one at a time. Bottom leg meets hip level, top leg, or both legs come up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Then bend the knee of your left leg. Your right leg is going to be the working leg, so you're going to lift and lower it. It's almost like you want to lift the thigh to the ceiling. Lift, lift. The leg is long and straight. Lift, lift. You can adjust this front leg any way you want to. You can hang on to the ankle if you wanted to, but I'm demonstrating it more with the knee on the floor or the leg crossed over. Lift, five, six, seven, eight. Do ten more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Keep it up there, circle it forward for eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Reverse. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. 
and let's come up to a seated position for a mermaid. So I'm on my right hip. I've got my left ankle crossed over my right. Be a nice little side bend. Right hands on the floor. And I'm just going to take my left arm, really reach, and then bring the left hand to the ankles and stretch over the right side, feeling the whole sideline of the right. And come back and stretch. And reverse the stretch. So bringing the right hand, feeling the sideline of the right side. How about one more? Left arm over, right arm over, and switch. Okay, so now I got the right over, the left. Left arm on the floor, reaching the right arm. Right hand to the ankles and reach with the left. Nice side bending. And reach. How's everyone doing? I hope everybody's doing well and you feel like you've gotten a good workout so far. Reach. We're all looking good. Okay, now let's do a, a plank. We're going to do a regular plank and we're going to do something called an eight point plank. And then we're going to stand up and do a little stretching and balancing. So the first plank, come to your hands and knees. Hands are shoulder width, knees are hip width apart. And then let's push the right leg out, push the left leg out. Hold your belly in. There's your plank. Now let's take it a step further. Let's lift our right leg and rock back and forth on the ball of the left foot. Keeping the belly in, keeping your hips square. Keeping them nice and square. And then replace the right foot. Get light on that left foot. And rock back and forth on the ball to the right. And then come all the way back down. We're going to swim. Bring the right arm forward, the left arm forward, nose to the mat. Feet are out, hip width apart. Let's lift our right arm and our left leg, lengthen them both, set them down. Hold your belly in. Lift your left arm, right leg, stretch in opposite directions and bring them down. Nose to mat. Now, let's feel like we're pushing the hands and the legs so far that they lift up. Hold the belly in, and you can add a swim to it. Opposite arm, opposite legs. Swim, and sit back on your heels. Breathe here. Length. Eight point plank like a promise. Turn around. This one I know you'll feel. So we use um, eight points. Our, the palms of our hands, our elbows, our knees, and our feet. Our toes are curved inside the mat. We're going to push down on our hands. Feel like you're kind of cupping them. Pushing down on them. Push down on your elbows. Knees stay on the ground, they never come off, and feet stay on the floor. So the work is, you're pushing down in your hands, elbows, knees and feet, belly in. You're going to inhale, expand through the back of the ribs, and then exhale, draw your belly in. Let's feel like somebody's pushing a basketball to your belly, so you have to lift up to get out of the way. Hold the belly in, push down on your hands, elbows, knees, and feet. Your hips are lifted a little bit. Your chest, of course, is lifted. Belly is hanging in there. Now, don't let it droop. Hold it in. 
Push down on your hands, elbows, knees, and feet. And then think about lengthening through the crown of the head. And think about bringing the knees to the elbows, elbows to the knees, holding the belly in and up, breathing. And then let's lower the hips. And then take the legs up and go back and forth. And let's stand up. So you might have time for a stretch. Okay. Let's do a little balance work. So you can either be in a Pilates stance and raise the arms up and raise them down. Or you can be in neutral. Your feet can be in a regular stance, reaching up. Let's straighten one leg, let's straighten the other leg. Go forward, come on up. Lift up. Circle the arms. And come down. And up. And down. And reach up. And come down, up, and down. Let's do a little side bending. So feel like the shoulders are back, you're pushing down the hands, and you're just going to lean over to your right, and back to center, and go over to your left, and back to center, and raise your arms up. And just drop the shoulders, go side to side. Purposely drop those shoulders down. Feel like you're lifting up to the side bodies, but the shoulders are down. And then you're going to the left. And to the right. And let's bend forward, drop the belly in. Bend your knees, bring your hands to the back of your ankles. Roll it up. Couple more. Reach. And down. And roll it up. Again, reach it up. Drop the shoulders. Come into like an airplane. Draw your belly in. Bend those knees, hands behind your ankles, roll it up. Let's take your hands and just clasp them behind. Make a fist. Open up that chest. Lift the arms up just to end with a nice little chest opening stretch. Breathe. Take a nice deep breath in. Deep breath out. Raise the arms, inhale, and exhale. Nice work, everyone.